split screen effect in DaVinci Resolve. Hey guys, I recently made a split screen pack and if you don't have much time to create this effect on your own, feel free to check it out in my store. Here I have two clips on the timeline and we are gonna make two screens effect. Place them on top of each other, right click and create fusion clip. Open fusion page and delete merge and background nodes. This is media in 1 and this is media in 2. Let's grab two merge nodes, one for each media. Place and connect them like so. You can turn off media 2 node for now, because we are gonna work with media in 1 node first. Select media in 1 node, shift space and apply transform node. This transform node will give us an option to change position and size of the media inside the mask. Let's connect rectangular mask to this transform node, select transform node, go to settings and enable multiply by mask checkbox. Place this mask the way you like, make it bigger and add corner radius value a little, so we have nice rounded corners. Let's enable media and 2 node and add a transform node like we did before. Copy and paste our mask from media and 1 node to our new transform node and also enable multiply by mask checkbox. Now you can adjust both masks in the viewer the way you like. Select Transform 2 node, go to Controls and adjust position of your image. And do the same to the first media. To conclude, we can change the position and size of our image inside the mask using the Transform node, with the Multiply by Mask checkbox enabled. Next step is I want to animate this mask. You can use width and height parameters for that, but I would like to animate it from one side, for example top right corner. And to do that, we need to add one more transform node right in front of the rectangular node. And reconnect it to the yellow input. Now we can change the pivot point or anchor point of this mask using the transform node. Place the pivot in the top right corner. And now if you change size, you can see it coming from the top right corner as I want it. Let's quickly animate this size parameter from frame 0 to frame 25 and change value from 0 to 1. Open Spline Editor and Ease Size Keyframes. And now we have this nice animation. Let's repeat this step with our second media. Add Transfer node. Connect Rectangular to the yellow input. This time I will place the pivot point in the bottom left corner. And animate size from 0 to 25th frame. Ease keyframes in Spline Editor. And we have this cool mask animation. And to make it look even cooler, I will add one more transform node. I will animate size again to create nice subtle zoom to our media. I'm gonna use the same 0 and 25th frames and animate size from 0.7 to 1 values. Ease keyframe in Spline Editor. Copy this transform node and paste it to the second media node tree. Now they both have cool subtle zoom effects. You can also add a background node to control your background and change colors. Connect it to merge one node, not to the green input, but to the yellow one. Go to inspector window and now you can change colors of your background or just disable it by reducing the alpha value. Ok, we are done with the effect, let's export it as a macro, so we can use it in the edit page as a drag and drop preset. Select all nodes, right click, macro, create macro, create a name for it. And I'm gonna quickly publish position, size and background parameters. When you have selected all the parameters you need, click on the three dots and choose Save As. Create a folder somewhere on your computer for this macro. And save it there. Now open Effects Browser, select Templates, Edit, right click on Effects, and it will open the Effects folder where all the effects for DaVinci Resolve are stored. If you cannot open it this way, I will leave a path for both Mac and PC users in the description below. Copy the folder with newly created macro and paste it to the effects folder. Go back to DaVinci Resolve and open edit page. 
These are the same two clips that we used in the Fusion. Let's place them on top of each other. Create a Fusion clip. Open Effects Browser. Effects and look up for your folder. Here it is. And boom, we have our split screen effect in the edit page with all animation applied. And you can change all the parameters you have published in the inspector window. How cool is that? You can change the background color or you can disable it and place something else under this fusion clip. For example, this ramp. Cool. Another magic trick, if you have a split screen effect with four screens for example, just stack four clips on top of each other, create fusion clip, you have to create only fusion clip, not compound or adjustment clip, and drag your preset with four screens. And here you go, four screen effect with four clips inside. And another cool part is if you open this fusion clip and switch clips position, it will update it in our main Fusion clip. So every video track is basically the same as Media 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on in the Fusion page. That's it for today, thanks for watching guys, please like, subscribe and leave a comment to support my channel and don't forget to visit my store to get my latest split screen presets for DaVinci Resolve. And see you in the next one!